you are going to get old. And you're probably going to get older than you think you are. I was doing some research today and I came across all of these people who are 65 to 70 years old who were still in the workforce. They still got to go out there and get this Wi-Fi bread. They still got to make money. And this tells me that with technology, life expectancy, you're going to get older and you're not going to have any money. So let's say you're 25 years old and it takes you seven to 10 years to build your business. So you're going to be 32 or 35 to build this business that will set you financially apart from all of your peers. Where the next 35, 40, 50 years are much better because you made that decision. You're playing a long money game. One of the things that I see is so many people give up, stop, just don't try as hard or jump from thing to thing to thing because they're impatient. There were certain people who were remain nameless who were doing the Kindle book publishing and all this other stuff. People who were internet marketers now, Bitcoin experts, they're jumping from thing to thing. They never built anything of note. They never really built anything. They don't have anything going on. Don't be that person. Once again, you know, you're 20 some, you're 30 some, you go ahead and you build something and it takes seven to 10 years. And on your way up, you're going to be making more money than the average person. This is one of the hardest things because I have the hustlers, kung fu losers, the people that I gave all of these free courses to. And every day I send out an email, they're like, hey, please take me off the list. And I'll go back, find their name. And it's one of these people who got the free information. Free information that I'm now selling. It was just as good back then as it is today. Why didn't these people take action? They don't respect free. You know, you can give, you know, I can give away my audio book for free. That's cool. But, you know, what doing the giving all those courses away for free, that was foolish. And part of the reason that people don't respect free you still got to do work. You still got to listen to the audio book. You still got to go through the courses. You still got to put in that work. You still got to do work. So what, what I'm trying to tell you, my friends, is play the long money game. Go ahead, get it in your mind that whatever you want to build is going to take longer than you want it to. That's cool because you're going to live a long time unless something strange or crazy happens. You're going to live a very long time. Some of you listening to the sound of my voice will live to be over 100 years old. And you're 20 some years old right now. So you got like 70 years to live. And, you know, to the fire people who like, you know, retire early. That ain't even going to work for y'all because a lot of y'all who are doing this stuff are depending upon a stock market that goes up and down. And many of you are going to retire at such a ridiculously small sum because I want you to do the math. You retire on $40,000, right? In your portfolio, you can only pull off 3.5%. Ten years from now, that 40 grand will not have the same buying power as 40 grand does today. This is, you know, because there's not a lot of research on this. There are not many people who've done this, but I can tell you what's going to happen. Your fixed income going to get hard to live on. So this is what I suggest y'all do. Build a business that's durable. Build a business 
that can make you money for decades, which means you're going to have to do some research. You know, maybe you want to get in real estate. Maybe you want to get an education. Maybe you want to, you know, so you're going to have to look at the businesses that you get into. You know, everyone's trying to make some scratch on the Internet. If it makes money, I'm in. But you don't like that, man. You don't even like it. You, and see, this, this is one of the things with content marketing. See, I love you guys. That's why I've been here 10 years. If you don't appreciate the audience that you're creating the content for, that's going to be like creating a job that you hate. Every day, I got to create content for these mofos. <sighs> Whoa. So pick a business that you have a lot of interest in that holds and occupies your attention. That you're like, yeah, I like this stuff. I can keep doing this. This is cool. Do not build a business just because of the money. There are some people, some strange mutants who could start a business, not really care what it does, and they can make that money. Most of you will get bored. Most of you will buck up. So don't go out and just start a business because of the money. Like, you know, trucking is a big thing. I have no interest in trucking, none whatsoever. So I'm not going to go out and buy a truck and get some drivers. It's just not my interest. You know, I'm about this Wi-Fi bread. I'm about creating courses. I'm about being an educator. That's my wheelhouse. That's what does it for me. And there are many people who try to assimilate or copy somebody, and that don't work either. You're like, it looks good, but you don't know, you don't know what it is until you actually do it. Until you start walking that walk. Until you start putting yourself out there. Until you start making these moves, it, it, it's not going to pan out for you. One of the things that you got to do is audit yourself and figure out what makes you tick. Because this is something that's sad. You can ask a lot of people, what do you like to do? And they will go out and rattle off a bunch of insipid stuff. I like to play video games. I like to travel. Stuff that you can't make no money off of, you know. And don't go out here and putting out Shango 68. He's a full-time gamer. You know the odds of being a full-time gamer are right up there with being a full-time athlete in the NFL, NBA. I think there's like every summer – Every you know, every year graduation, I think a hundred thousand high school athletes graduate. And I think only thirty thousand of them get to play ball in college. And out of that, when it comes up for the draft, we're talking about one, or you know, if you're an extraordinary team like Alabama, seven to ten people going in the first few rounds. So you distribute, you distill from 100,000 people down to 30,000 down to literally a handful of cats. Literally just a handful. So don't be putting in the comments, oh, I know gamers make food. Not that many gamers are doing it. I've researched this. It's not that many gamers. So get practical with your long-term business model. Start thinking of something that you can do for decades. Because once you start thinking like, I want to do this for decades, the thought process changes. You know, because typically with a hustle, I can do this for a minute. We do it for a few months, maybe two years, and I'm out. But think of a business model that you can do for decades. Something that you can put together and build year after year after year after year after year. Something that you can turn into a brand. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. You hear all this stuff about 
people losing their businesses. If you run a highly profitable business and you don't take on undue debt, crazy debt, in trouble debt, you'll never go out of business. I remember in the storage auction business, there was this one guy's unit you know, I got. He used to own a seafood restaurant. Just looking at his invoices, I knew how much money he made. He was spending $150,000 a month more than he was bringing in, and it caught up with it. So if you start a business, you have practical, sound money management skills, and you push your business to be profitable, and you don't get into player. Playboy, this business can go on forever, forever. Because, you know, this, this is something that a lot of people love to say. Like, you know, you, you made all this money. If you lost it all, how fast could it take you to build it back? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. There's a lot of people who've never lost anything. They were that smart. They were those smart cats. They never lost a penny. They built their fortune. They increased their fortune. And they left it to their family. See, that whole talk of what I call struggle love. We all in the same boat. We all trying to scratch out a living. It's not true. There's somebody right now who's making buku money. And he's going to go home and make love to his wife because he's got time. He's going to play with his kids when he go home. He's going to take off early. Because he, he, he built this thing. He set it up. He built this thing to be durable. And this is something that, you know, I talk about because you got many people who start these businesses and looking for an exit, which is an IPO, you know, going public or finding someone to buy their company. I don't want you to be like that. I want you to make your company profitable. Where, you know, taxes become an issue because you're like, OK, I got to do something because our taxes are too crazy. A la Grant Cardone, this business made 50 million and they're going to have to pay hellacious taxes. He said, let's buy a plane. Buy the plane. I want you in the position where you got to make these kind of decisions. I want you in the position where you have got to own up to the reality of being a successful business person. Because see, this, this is one of the things. Being a successful business person is a lot of responsibility. You know, you, you have to be responsible. You have to look out for your, your investors, if you have investors, or your customers. You, you're responsible for a lot of things. But I implore on you to build one of these things and take seven to 10 years of your life, dedicate yourself to it, avoid undue debt. Because this is the thing, you know, everybody's like, let's grow, let's grow, let's grow. 1-800-GOT-JUNK had one truck for eight years. One truck for eight years. They did not start growing until about year 15. So, you know, we, we got all these folks who want to make this crazy Wi-Fi money. And it's available, but it's going to take time, effort, and work. You're going to have to do some stuff to get that kind of money. You're going to have to be a certain kind of person to get that type of money. And you're going to have to be patient. Why? You're going to live a long time. If you're 15, there's a good chance you can live to be 100. So that means you've got 85 more years. You don't have to get it done in your 20s or 30s because, you know, you got this list, the best of the best people under 30. And that's cool and everything, but some people need more time. You ain't going to do it by, you know, time you're 29. You, you may do it at 32, 33. It's still done. You got that money. You got that business. You got that clout. You got that respect. Happens a little later. This is one of the things that cracks me up with the female nature. 
I want to get married. And a lot of y'all are funny. Your, your, your best time, your highest sexual marketplace value is when you're in your 20s, when your fertility is at its highest. And a lot of y'all just want to squander that. Just like a lot of people who want to squander all some of their good years just out here messing around. Once again, you can build a business that supports you, your family, for the rest of your life in seven to 10 years. I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I've got some long-term business models setting up, like with the dominant man, I see that that's gonna be a long-term business model. So I've kind of slowed it down. I started a Facebook group, a page. I'm taking my time with it. I'm not trying to get to 100,000 likes in 30 days so I can write a blog post about it or do a YouTube video about it. Wee, look at me. I'm so good at this. Ooh. I'm not trying to do that. Neither should you. You should be building these long-term durable businesses that throw off cash so you can take that money and put in investment so you can get you some passive income. That's the plan. That's what you should be doing. Because passive income is real if you know how to set it up, if you know how to create it. Because, you know, everybody's good with making money. You get a job, you sell on eBay, you make some money. Some folks can save money. But there's a smaller group of people whose money can make more money. That's rare. When you get to that level where your kung fu is that good, where your money makes more money. And I'm, I'm not talking about, oh, you know, I got a thousand dollars in stock and I made 200 bucks. You know, so I got like 200 bucks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where your money making enough money for you to get the Lambo. Where your money making enough money for you to buy that nice house, cash, where your money is making money so you can live that wonderful life that you want to live. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to get old and I don't want you climbing a truck when you 65, 70, 84 years old because you got bills. I don't want you climbing in a truck working in some landfill, working on some oil drilling site. You, no, 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 no. Use your time wisely now. Don't wait until it's too late. Sure, you can start a business at 50. Sure, you can start a business at 60. Why are you waiting that long? Do this now. I'm speaking to my young people. I'm speaking to my 20-year-olds, my 30-year-olds. Y'all need to get busy building these long-term business models. And I know a lot of you are like, what should I build? What are you interested in? You know, it's amazing how much freedom and choice that you have in this process. And it seems like it's a burden. Like you want someone to tell you what to do step by step because you are unsure of your own decisions. You need someone to co-sign or to give you permission to do X, Y, and Z. Because you're not used to that type of autonomy and freedom. This is why everybody like Amazon FBA, courses selling like hotcakes. But Amazon FBA is getting harder and harder. I got a few friends and I'm just listening to their conversations. One of the things in Amazon FBA is not a business that I feel believe that you can build for a long-term business model because they change things. Because there's too much that's out of your control. But when you create a business and you do the marketing, you acquire the customers, you run the advertising, you're in control of that. This is why these template uh, schemes or template businesses, that's their biggest Achilles heel. Yeah, you can get in there and make some money, but it's gonna change. Amazon Kindle, changed. Amazon FBA, changed. Instagram, changed. 
But you start this business and you grow it in a, in a field that a lot of people are not in, things you can do. There was a guy who was an e-com seller. He was selling like $3 million a year in flags. Flags. There are so many things that you can do. Pick something and get busy. That's what I'm saying. This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. You can have that life, that business that you want. You can have everything. You can have Big Booty Betty. You can have the big house. You can have Lambo. You just got to take your time. And you got time. You 20 some years old, the chances of you grow, of being old, growing old to 100 are very great. That's 80 years. 80 years. And if you take three, seven, or 10 to build this business, to set everything that comes after that business, to set it off. Woo! We talking about, I got a friend, Mario. He started his um, business when I was doing the new office furniture. And it's mature to the point, he don't do nothing. He don't even go in the office. All he does is collect checks. He collect checks, he sign checks, he collect money. Because he's built a system. And I got a friend who wanted to sell her business but she listened to me. She hired some people. Her and the girlfriends went to Scotland recently. She does what she wants to do. But the checks, they keep coming. That money, it keeps coming. So she can run her business until she's 90 years old. And still get that money. Mario, he can run this business until he's 90 years old. He, he like I said, he's he chilling. He living life the way he wants to live life. You can live life the way you want to live life. If you would dig in, get started on something, start building something, become a producer, become an architect in the internet, start putting stuff together so you can make some money to help out the people who need help I have two versions of H undergrad, the basic and the premium. Links are below. I sell it to you like a car payment. You get to drive the car while you're making payments on the car. You get everything. So go ahead and take advantage of that opportunity so you can build your long term business. So you can build something durable and substantial. Start, get building, start building. Start making something special of your life. Once again, gentlemen, I don't believe in struggle love. You need to be a ready-made man. You need to have your business going. You need to be working on your goals before you meet Big Booty Betty. And then, you know, you need to go over to the dominant man course so you know how to handle Big Booty Betty. So with that, I will see you guys later.